What's going on there, YouTube? Vaping with Twisted 420 has returned. And today we got quite a sexy special little mech mod to show you here, folks. Today we're gonna take a look at the Invictus Aurelius, or Aurelius, Aurelius? It's the Invictus, let's take a look at it. folks and we are back we are back once again we got an awesome little mod here folks uh, the invictus it's so unique looking i wish i had a russian i gotta get a russian just to match this motherfucker it looks good um before we get into that you notice i got this lucky ruckus vape shop cap on courtesy of the homie frank i represent you shoot me some gear i represent also got the marley shirt on celebrating 420 today um yeah it's the invictus um, it, it's, it's a sweet mod. It's it's a mod from Israel, okay? This mod came from Israel, and uh, I gotta say, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. It's a light, hard-hitting little fella, and um, the price is quite reasonable. They're selling this thing over on Vap Cafe for uh, right at 143 bucks. Now, you know, usually uh, over 100 bucks. I gotta say, for an original piece that is well built. This one's not that bad. I don't feel bad about it at all, and I'm glad I got to find out about this guy. I got the uh, Zenith V2 sitting on here, uh, doing work. I got it in a, it's an authentic, believe it or not. I got it in a part of my high-end trade-up program that I got going. Just got it in recently. Shout out to my boy, Lee Kuntz. Lee Kuntz is the guy I traded for this Zenith. He's all right. Oh yeah, I got some new lighting in here. I'm still playing around with the uh, exposure levels, but we got some new lighting. Hopefully you guys are finding it to your liking. Um, enough of all that. We're getting sidetracked here. The Invictus. Here's what it is. It's a stainless steel little piece. It's got seven vent holes on it. It's a mechanical mod, meaning no circuitry, no wiring. It's just straight up boom. I got this Zenith V2 sitting on here at uh, 0.3, and it's doing work. Let me get a toke real quick. Good shit. Really, really good shit. Um... It's a sweet mod. Um, the cool thing about it is it's got a floating 510 brass contacts. Uh, it's got a brass contact in the bottom. Uh, it's a telescoping bottom tube, just the bottom telescopes, which is sweet. But uh, hell, you got a floating 510. You know, they give you all kinds of options. You got floating 510 and a telescopic bottom. Uh, the button is a dream. I like it. It does tend to back itself out a little bit, but uh, you know, it locks well. It, it, we'll go into that when we get up close with it. I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of this little fella. Yeah, 143 bucks. I don't think it's that bad, people. I really, really, really like this mod. It's well built. It's different. It's kind of got a Tron type thing going on. You, you can't see that shit from here. It's probably, it's got like a Tron thing going on around here with the uh, matte and polished. Really, really sweet looking little piece. Uh, hope you guys like the little close up I did out there in the wilderness. That's a... Uh, Went a little extra hard on this one. It looks really good. It's a really, really good looking piece. Um, it's a 22 millimeter tube body with a 23 millimeter top and a 23 millimeter bottom. Now, what that means is most of your 22 millimeter ads, uh, ads, what the fuck am I talking about? I'm too much internet. Uh, 22 millimeter addies are not gonna sit perfectly flush, but it's not that bad. You got venting all over this thing, seven vent holes all over the body. Cool little logo on the bottom. This is number two. Check that out, motherfucking number two. I think they're only gonna make, uh, I'm not sure how many of them making of these. I know they had a limited edition that was like a hundred of those being made. This is one of them. But um, I, you'll, I'll have to check their site. We'll check their site and see what's going on. It's a badass mod is what I think so far, people. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. Really like it, been using it every day for the past two weeks. Um, and, and it's been great, it's been great. I did some voltage drop testing on it uh, at a, on a 0.7 uh, Addy. It had 0.15 voltage drop, which is not bad. Pretty close to 0.1 right there in the middle. <laughs> um, we're gonna do some more voltage drop tests in this video, just for fun, why not? 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what makes this thing tick. Uh, yeah, like I said, brass contacts, they're gonna have the option for 24 karat gold contacts coming up pretty soon. And this is an 18650 mod. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> it's 18650 only. You can do 18650 plus a fuse, or uh, they got a kick extension piece they're coming out with to do 18650 plus a kick. I have never really used a kick anyway, to be completely honest with you. But uh, yeah, they got some options. They got a couple other mods too, and some addies. They're making a hybrid for this thing. All kinds of crazy stuff. It's cool. It's a, uh, it's pretty cool. Israeli modder, pretty neat, I think. More power to them. Uh, what we gotta do is we gotta dive up close, take a good close personal look at this fella, and uh, report back what we think. All right, so let's go ahead and dive up close real quick. All right, folks, and here we are up close with the Invictus. Beautiful piece, folks. Really beautiful piece. You can see uh, all the polished and matte little contrast they got going there. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is a 23 millimeter top section. So this Zenith V2 at 22 millimeters, you get a little bit of gap, but, you know, not a super big deal. Here's a cool part. And listen to these threads. These threads are nice. Lovely lovely ass threads uh floating 510 connection up here so what that means is for those of you who don't know it adjusts to the addy as you screw it in and uh look at that top cap real quick let's take a look at that it's nice kind of matches the the theme of the rest of what they got going on here um it's got some air air channels cut out up top for your uh addies to get their airflow from the 510 and uh yeah as you screw it in it just adjusts itself. That's awesome. That is awesome. Nice little 510 connection. Let's go ahead and pop this out. Got to go EFS 35 amp sitting in there. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and threads are nice once again. Let's take this bottom switch off. As you can see, it's got some nice healthy threading on here. And to be honest with you people, this thing's really light. Like this is light. Um, at first I thought it was made of some kind of high grade aluminum, but then uh, I realized uh checked their site and saw that it was stainless steel but uh it's it's really light stainless steel but uh nice all together it, it, build quality is top notch here's the switch you got their little logo on the bottom really nice throw on the switch we'll take the switch apart in a second and uh take a look at the spring oh yeah there's no packaging to show you uh pretty much it came in some uh healthy amount of bubble wrap and there, that's all there was to it. So, uh, you know, a little little something to say about presentation. Presentation goes a long way, you know what I mean? It'd be nice to have a nice little box, maybe some little cut grass from Israel in there, line it. I don't know, you know, who knows? But, uh, yeah, the switch is great. I got a uh, number two, if I'm not mistaken. I'm really not sure what these cereals mean, but I think I got number two, which is sweet. <laughs> I think the A might be limited edition. So I don't, I really need to talk to those guys further before I start making these videos. <laughs> but yes, the switch is nice. One thing about the switch, it will back itself out a little bit and it's not a big deal. The locking ring is reverse threaded, so it'll catch. But if you keep turning it after that switch has been backed out of here, it'll just spin which is not a big deal. You can still sit it down and it won't fire, but it free spins and then you just go the other way to unlock it. But a uh, nice switch, really, really nice switch. Nice mod altogether. I like it. I don't know. It, at first I was like, huh, that's pretty cool. We're looking at the pictures, but then when I got it, I was like, man, this thing is sweet. I really need to, like I said, I need to get a Russian because that shit would look so dope with the matte finish. Um, here's the switch. Let's go ahead and take that out. You see, we got some nice, Nice little Delrin insulator inside there. I'm assuming Delrin. I don't know for sure. Nice, healthy brass contact. This bitch is thick. <laughs> this is our spring. Not a bad little spring. That's why the throw is so nice. Little, little fella. And then we got the actual bottom pin itself for the switch. Pretty cool. This engraving isn't super deep or anything, but uh, yeah, it's, it's whatever. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and put the switch back together. It just pops in right there. Oh, son of a mother. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, we'll just put that back in there. And that is the switch, ladies and gentlemen. I like the switch. It's really nice. And I like the locking mechanism. Like I said, the, the button just does back out every once in a while. If the button never backed out after you tighten it like so, you could sit this thing down without locking it. You know what I mean? It's got one of those flush fucking things down here. See how flush that is? You can sit it down and it won't fire. So, 
if it wasn't for that backing out, you'd never have to really lock this thing in my opinion. But yeah, when the button's right, this thing stops, it won't spin. But if the button's jutted out a bit, it gets all butthurt about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the switch. Quite a nice switch. And like I said, the whole bottom telescope. So you can pop your battery in, put everything back together. That's what you got. And then you just sure it up, bam. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a nice little build I got in the Zenith V2. It's almost dry, but it's uh, it's putting out nice. And like I said, this thing hits hard. Let's check out some voltage drop tests here in a second. First, let's, uh, I wanna pop a couple of different Addies on and show you how they look. Um, the Helios is 23 millimeters, so it sits flush. This is a Helios clone uh, by Sig Green. I got it from Online Stop Vaping or stop, something like that. Son of a bitch, I'm never good with names. But yeah, that's how she looks with the Helios clone on her. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I think it looks pretty sweet. And uh, let me pop the Expromiser on here since she's also um, 23 millimeter, just to give you guys an idea of what looks flush. All right, folks, and here it is with the Expromiser. Like I said, perfect 23 millimeter matchup. I think it looks pretty, pretty slick together. All together myself. <laughs> Shit's pretty dope. Shit's pretty dope. All right, folks, so here's time for a little bit of size comparison. We got the Panzer. We got the V3 Tronics Flip. We got the Copper Nemesis clone. And we got the Invictus all in 18650 mode for your viewing pleasure. Oh, and we're just going to interject this little sexy piece. Uh, we're going to have a little a little quick look at the uh, Black Copper Stingray clone here pretty soon also in all its sexy glory. Look at that shit. Tell me that shit's not sexy. I just had to put it in here. I'm sorry. I'm not gloating, but I think I put together a sexy piece. It looks really good, and it all came from Voltage Vapor Shop. Um, except for the drip tip. That's part of the Vaping Tech drip tip collection. All right, just thought I'd tell you guys that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's sexy, and I really, really like it. Look at the Panzer got scared. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah. That's a quick size comparison for you guys. And uh, there she is. Uh, pretty short little guy. Pretty short little guy. Uh, like I said, I think she's sexy. Uh, the only real con I can find about it, in my opinion, uh, well, two of them. The fact that it's not 22 millimeter, which is a much more popular size for uh, your rebuildables. And the uh, fact that the button ever so often kind of wiggles its way out a little bit. Like right now it's fine and it can be fine for a while, but. Like I said, sometimes it, it does its own thing. But uh, yeah, overall, really, really, really well-built, sexy little mechanical in my opinion. All right, let's back out, talk on it, babe on it for a little bit. All right, folks, and we're back, we're back. We took a quick look at it. I switched over to the, the Cryptex because uh, I think they look good together. Uh, the juice we got in here, some special shit coming up from my juice line, Not Too Shabby. Yeah, that's the name we went with for the juice. It's gonna be called Not Too Shabby. But uh, the second flavor to be released is gonna be called Like a Sir. And uh, Like a Sir is butterscotch, sea salt caramel, and vanilla bean. Oh, so stupid good. Let me have a toke real quick. On the Cryptex, on the Invictus, it's getting down nice. It's just delicious, absolutely delicious. Um, I like this guy, folks. It gets down good, it puts out well. I like the build of it, I like all the adjustability. I don't know if there was a need for seven vent holes, but hey, <laughs> better safe than sorry, I suppose. But um, yeah, it's, it, it's a really nice mod. I like the finish on it, I like the look of it. Uh, really can't say enough good things about it. And personally, I know this might sound crazy to some of my hashtag team cheap mod people out there. I think for 143, it's not, not that bad. To be completely honest, it's a really, really nice mod, and uh, it's you know, it's different. You know what I mean? It looks nice. It, it, it's something different, and I like different stuff. And I'm, I really, really like this guy. Um, another toke. I just, just got. I can't quit token on it. It's good. Yeah, it's great. That's great. So okay, let's get down to the thumbs up, thumbs down, good and bad, pros and cons, all that good shit. Um, let's start with the pros. The pros is uh, the thing looks sweet to me, in my opinion. In my personal opinion, it looks badass. Uh, I like the button on it. 
Um, I like the, all the adjustability with the floating 510. I like the uh, the good conductivity that it has. Like I said, thing puts out nice. Uh, they got some options coming up for it, and they got some other stuff happening. And that's cool. I, I like that. I like to see some advancement with this guy and this brand because they make good looking stuff. I've seen some of their Addies. They kind of got that similar Tron look. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Um, yeah, I like the look of it. I like the button. I like how it hits. Those are the pros. Now, the cons. Uh, the cons is, uh, and this may be a con depending on who you are, 23 millimeter top section. Uh, like I said, most things, K funds, most drippers that are coming out nowadays, all those are 22 millimeter. So uh, seeing the, the top cap be 22 millimeter would have been a little bit of a plus, I think. It would have been the right idea. But I understand they got a unique look thing going on. So, you know, I don't design mods. Who knows? I mean, whatever. But uh, yeah, like right now, even uh, the button, uh, the button doesn't stay like it should stay, which I've seen this on a few mods, high end and clone alike. Uh, the button just backs out a little bit and it doesn't really impede anything you can still lock it only thing is it keeps spinning it won't fire but uh, and it doesn't really affect the throw that much it's just uh, if you want the locking ring to really lock that button needs to be recessed and plus you don't have to lock it when the button is recessed so I really like seeing something to prevent that guy from backing out just a little bit but uh, yeah oh, those are the two things really that's it other than that I love everything else about it like I said the button backing out and the uh, 23 millimeter top cat. Other than that, I really don't feel like it's a, it's a bad mod at all. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it one and a half thumbs. We're gonna go one and a half thumbs on the Invictus Aurelius, Aurelius um, mod. <laughs> I'm gonna go one and a half thumbs, and I think that's fair. It's a really, really nice mod. Uh, price may be high for some, but to me, I think it's a good deal. Um, it hits hard. It looks unique. It would look great with a Russian. It's got that nice matte finish. It's unique. It's nice. Uh, if you order this from Bap Cafe, shipping is going to be about a week if you're in the U.S. So that's the thing. I think I saw on your site too, like uh, in Israeli money, it was 500 shekels. I saw, I saw the word shekels and I giggled. And I was like, oh shit, shekels. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, um, in the U.K., shipping probably be a little bit quicker. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'll post links and everything up to this bad boy. I really like it. Uh, big shout out to Bab Cafe for hooking me up with this for review. Uh, I can dig it. I can dig it. Besides a few minor problems, I can dig it. Good deal. Good deal. Thing hits hard. Thing hits hard. But yeah, folks, that's what I got for you today. Um, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Remember to keep on vaping. And most importantly, you stay sexy, YouTube. I am out.